Okay, boy. Let's go. Madam? Hey there. Gentlemen. Bonjour, monsieur. Can't trust anyone else to do it right. Hello, sir. Bonjour, monsieur. <clears throat> Mister? Man, sticking up with another house girl. Silly old fool. Mister? Here we go. Yes, Hello. indeed. Watch All right. Partner? Howdy, mister. Careful now. Hello, oh, yeah. sir. Oh, the more I people hear. aim for peace, you think you get me? Hey, well, sure. Thanks. Out of the way, please. 
straight down Arthur Hello Mary You came Sure Whenever you call for me I'll come Oh Arthur What's wrong Daddy Your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things old oh, filthy rotter where can we find him he said he was going down to the theodore eckhart stables something about a horse it's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard come on then don't be a pompous ass arthur it doesn't suit you oh should i leave that to daddy leave daddy alone he suffers enough well i suppose i can take some consolation in that no oh, arthur I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out.
This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Just... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. That weapon won't be necessary. Just in this case. Way. I've heard that one before. Arthur, drop back a bit or he'll see you. He went around the corner. What? How dare you follow me? Don't tell me you're back with this deadbeat. That weapon won't be necessary. Just in case. I've heard that one before. Don't do anything stupid, Arthur, please. Just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. You just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? I think he saw us. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. 
Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur.
Victor. Get Just out take of there. it easy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay...
Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... Oh, Mary. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good idea. Sure. I understand. You're still walking me to the trolley, though. Of course. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm the only man, Mary, if I... If anyone... Close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. <laughs>